It's hot. It's summer in Oklahoma. Welcome back. Okay, yesterday, 95.5 degrees at the weather station in the neighborhood behind the house yesterday, here in um, Oki Rover Base Camp. Uh, it was pretty ridiculously warm, 81% humidity. I don't know, if you've never been in these kind of environments, people in Florida go, whatever. People in Louisiana, only 81%? Is it winter time? But here in Oklahoma, that's pretty high humidity and that's pretty hot. And it's just now June and we know it gets into the hundreds. So we did an experiment last night and the experiment was to turn on the LG air conditioner and leave it running all night to see if the temperature in my shop would be any cooler. Well, when I got here this morning, it was 90, or this afternoon, it was 90. I've been in and out of the door twice. I haven't opened up the garage yet. Unfortunately today, it's 84 outside. So technically, cooler outside than inside. That's probably a recipe for death in the next month or so. So, what I've come down to is this shop is gonna need to have some insulation. I didn't wanna pay for it, but it's gonna be expensive too. So, next year, I'm thinking, I'm going to have to move all of this stuff away from the walls <sighs> and then have someone come in and spray everything. I'm thinking about doing it myself and do it like a wall at a time maybe or something. I don't know. It's going to be a mess. So just to think. All right. So today we're working on the uh, panel that is missing here that rusted out. Um, looks like screws over here on this thing. We talked about this last week. There's four pieces of steel in there. Four sheets of steel came together to make this, this wall right here. What the heck? This is gonna get bent back over. Not gonna get too crazy with the patch. I just don't wanna Minimize the amount of mud and crap flying in here. So there's gonna be a panel go in. It's gonna connect across here, all the way across. I'm gonna use the lip on this side to rest it on. I'm thinking I'm gonna weld it to this piece. That might be folly, I don't know. Maybe I'll just build it bigger and then tack it and then seam seal the hell out of it. But welding that seam up would not be much fun. I mean, I can do it from the top, so that's good, but we'll have to think about that when we get closer to starting on it. So that's that's where we stand on that today. Uh, anyway, so that's gonna be it. So we only have one shot at this. We only have this one piece of steel. And as we talked about last week, it's 10 by, 10 by eight, which is exactly what our little panel's gotta be. So we're thinking there's seven and it's nine and a half wide. So 10 is gonna give me a half inch lip for this side. And then eight will be just enough to match on that. So that's the plan. We're gonna do some metal building today. Don't know if we'll do any welding yet. It's pretty hot. All right, we gotta get shop opened up and get the Parts cooler, parts cleaner put away, chainsaw from yesterday's work. Storm came through, lost a branch off one of the big trees, and we had to cut it up yesterday. But we did get the yard clean. The yard looks good. And all the wood split. I'll, I think my grandson has a video of that. I'll have him send it to me. All right, we will talk again here in a few minutes. Let me get everything set up. Pause. Okay, I've decided this is gonna have, um, I'm gonna put that rust preventative paint on it. I'm gonna put that on first. I'll do a little bit of bending and straightening, but 
I'm going to do that first. And I want that off of there. So that needs to get removed. Might come out. Let's see if I can get that off without cutting it. I'm not gonna reuse it, I just don't want it in the way. It's on. That's how hard it must have been to weld in this area. They've used screws. You can see the screw holes here. Ridiculous. Trash. see it because it's underneath all right we gotta grind that off I need to go put long sleeves on if I'm gonna grind. This is cutting my hand. This is hurting. I don't know what the hell that is, honestly. It's either a big ass weld or something else. All right, long sleeves. Nothing makes me angrier than a leaky chuck. And it's leaking up here, not down here. Cheap Chinese crap. Which I will replace in the near future. I can't tell what that was. It might have been a screw head. I don't know. So much rust on it, I can't tell what it was. Gonna remove that. That's what we're gonna do. It's not working the way I wanted it to. But it's a big old rusty piece of metal, that's what it is. And this is destroying my point of connect on this side. That was gonna be a half of an inch, but now I'm finding all this crap metal. That's gonna have to come off. 
because it will just rust if I don't take it off. That's a fact, Jack. It's every time. Every time we touch this thing, we find more rust. Shipwright's disease, right? Am I right? Look at that. The panels are just rusted in between there. It's rust. Rust, 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 rust. What do we do? What do we do? Well, we're going to straighten this out. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to investigate the end of this. And then we're going to wind up having to get more steel. So this isn't getting done today. I was hoping to get it done today. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen, not gonna happen. What are we gonna do there? Let's get that screwdriver. Welding helmet fell, boom, shaka. is that that is a mess of rust all right we're gonna have to we have to cut some more Pack full of steam chillers. I'm making it prettier.
Yeah, it's a spot weld. I knew it! I knew it was a spot weld. I knew it all the time. My eyelids are sweating. Those are my least favorite things on earth. Eyelid sweat. Okay. Okay. We've cut all the rust out of that. Okay. All right, so we'll need a panel that goes all the way down to here and across here somehow. I don't know what we'll do in that corner yet, but we need something like that. So that's what that's gonna look like when we're done. That's gonna be scary good. No, it's gonna suck. But, got the same problem going on over here. Let's take a look at this. Look at that. See how it's separating and there's rust between the two panels? That's just gonna... Okay, camera got too hot. Where's Mrs. Stevens going? Oh, she's going to help. Oh, I know what that is. Okay. All right. So, I got crazy with the air chisel. We talked about this being four sheets of steel packed together. There's no reason for them to be there. This one doesn't go anywhere. This one didn't go anywhere. This one's not going anywhere. So, I simplified this. That might have been a mistake. But, it's going to happen anyway, so when it rusts out, it wouldn't be there anyway to be supported. So I'm going to cut away all this crap and leave as much of the underneath panel, this one here, as I can. And then get these straps off of the back of this one. And then we'll come at this from a different angle with just this one on top attached to this. And then we can build our piece for the center over here. That's what we're gonna do. Do I look hot? It's hot. Whew. Okay. All right, uh, more work off camera because uh, it's loud and um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. So it's moderately embarrassing. Uh, there you go.
been watching a video series of a guy who's redoing a 1947 Jeep fan thingy. I'll look it up. Uh, anyway, I'm watching him. He's got these really cool like body tools. I need to get those body tools just like him because I need to make stuff louder like this whenever I need to get around to it. Oh, don't move. Don't move, camera. Stay. Stay. Stay put. Oh, which way are we going to hammer this one? That, I just need to be close, because I've still got to scrape the bottom of it. All right. All right, let's abate some rustage. More rustage abatement. Trick here is going to be not screwing up all this wiring. Okay. Okay. That's about good, I think. Let's talk about that. All right. Got that clean. That's going across to here. This will get flattened back where it was. I'll weld those two pieces together. Fill it with seam seal. That's going to all have um, 
rust inhibitor on it and uh, probably a coat of primer over the top of that even. But all of this rust inhibitor on top of it all across there. I still have to do this piece inside here, which I need to investigate a little more before I start chopping or cutting or doing anything because I don't know what all those pieces do. So let's see. Got one on the outside and this has to be the inside. So that inside one right there. So it looks like, oh, did you get to see that? I don't know if you saw that. All right, so this piece and then this piece. So this piece is the top piece going across here. So that can come off. So I can cut that. If I could get in there, I could cut that. I don't know how that's gonna go down. Won't be for another day though. Guys, it's hot and I need to get that seam sealer out of there. It's hot and I need to get this coated with rust inhibitor. I do, that's what I gotta do. All right, a little bit more grinding across here on the wire wheeling. Let's call it wire wheeling. We're gonna wire wheel this all back, all this here, and then I'll get, get the rust inhibitor on it. Okay, uh, that's gonna be off camera. I'm gonna call it good. It's very hot. I'm sweating like crazy, thankfully. And uh, that is the temp inside the shop right now. So it's hot because it's an oven box. It's a big metal box that the sun shines on. If I had a vent in that eave right there, it would pull a lot of the heat out. Those vents. I can run the electricity over there. That might be a plan. It might be shop 2.0 next summer. Or this winter, maybe. I can find some money. We'll do it. All right. I think that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe, as always. And I will see you next week. Where is my shut off camera thingy?